Today's story, The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza. And our author's name is Philemon Sturges. So Miss or Mr. Sturges uh, is the one who adapted this story and came up with the words. Our illustrator's name is Amy Walred. So that means that Amy is the person who created all of the illustrations and pictures in our book. So let's get started. The Little Red Hen. The Little Red Hen had eaten the last slice of her loaf of bread. She'd sipped a cup of chickweed tea and taken her nap. A bit closer. Brown eyes. She had taken the last sip of her chickweed tea and taken her nap. Now she was hungry again, so she scratched through her cupboard and spied a can of tomato sauce. Which one is the can of tomato sauce? Do you see a can that has a t, -t, -t word and a t, t tomato on it? There's the sauce. Why don't I make a lovely little pizza, she said to herself. Do you like pizza? Pizza has historically been my favorite food since I was a little girl. Pizza is the best, according to me. She rummaged through her pan drawer. There were bread pans, cake pans, muffin pans, frying pans, all kinds of pans. Look at all the pans. But not one single pan was large and round and flat. Do you know what a pizza pan looks like? It is large and round and flat. I have a pizza pan. Do you guys want to see my pizza pan? Carson, co-teacher, keep them happy while I go get a pizza pan. Hey, tight. This is a pizza pan. See my pizza pan, Carson? A pizza pan is round and flat, and that's where you put a pizza on, just like that. Would you like to hold my pizza pan, sir? I expect that to get thrown on the floor in probably less than one minute, but we'll see. She stuck her head out the window. Good morning, she called. Does anyone have a pizza pan? Carson has a pizza pan. You gonna let the hen borrow it? She needs to make a pizza. He likes that feel. This pizza pan has holes in it because it needs to breathe through the pizza so the pizza can cook. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Nobody has a pizza pan. Hmm. So, very well then, I'll fetch one myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the hardware store. She bought a pizza pan, a large mixing bowl, a pizza slicer, and some other stuff. Pizza slicer. I have a pizza slicer. Hold on, let me get my pizza slicer. Pizza slicer, pizza slicer. looks like your traditional pizza slicer, but the other pizza slicer looks like a bicycle. <laughs> a pizza slicer usually has a circle on it. Can you put the dog out please? He needs to go to the bathroom. Thank you. The pizza slicer has a circular blade. This is sharp, you have to be careful. I will not be giving this to Mr. Carson to hold because it is sharp and you use the sharp to cut your pizza, right? Excellent, let's keep it moving. She went to the hardware store, bought a pizza pan, a large mixing bowl, a pizza slicer, and some other stuff. When she got home, she opened the cupboard. She saw beans and rice. 
sugar and spices, sugar and spices, jars of jam, and jars of honey. She even pickled eggplant. But no flour. She said, I need flour. You need flour to cook a pizza, right? But she didn't have any flour. What is she going to do? She stuck her head out the window and called, hello, she said. Who will run to the store and get me some flour? Good luck getting flour at the store right now, honey. Everybody's sold out. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Nobody is going to help her get some flour. Not one person is going to help her get some flour. I won't anybody help. It's not very kind. Uh-oh. There you are, good sir. <gasps> well, very well then, she said. I will fetch some myself. And the little red hen went to the supermarket. She bought some flour. She must have gotten there early. Some salt, some oil, and some other stuff. What other stuff did she get? Toilet paper? Woo, she really must have gotten there early. Donuts. You don't need donuts to make pizza, huh? But they are tasty. Oops, sorry, excuse me. All right, so she's got her flour. She got back home and she opened the fridge. Back, 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 she said. There's cream cheese, blue cheese, string cheese, and Swiss cheese, but no mozzarella cheese or the pizza. You have to make mozzarella cheese for your pizza. What is she going to do? Who is going to get her mozzarella cheese? She leaned out her window and called. Excuse me, she said. Who will go to the store and buy me some mozzarella? That's what me and my kids like to say. Mozzarella. I think that's how the Italians say it. Not I, said the duck. No, excuse me. Oh, it is a duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. <sighs> Very well then, said the hen. I will fetch some myself. No. Nobody's gonna help her get some mozzarella. Whack. Mm, mm, mm. So the little red hen went to the delicatessen. Ooh, fancy. The deli. She bought some mozzarella, some pepperoni, and some olives. Ooh, this is gonna be a fancy pizza. She bought some mushrooms, onions, and garlic. Mm. She bought a can of eight small anchovies and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. She had that, remember? When she got home, the little red hen put on her apron and stuck her head out the window. Good afternoon, she called. Who can help me make the pizza dough? What do you think they're gonna say? Are they gonna help her make the pizza dough? Oh, excuse me, sir. Are they gonna help her make the pizza dough? What have they said when she's asked for help so far? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then. I'll make it myself. No help. They are no help. So she made it herself. She put the flour and some other stuff into her mixing bowl. She mixed and mixed and kneaded and kneaded and pounded it until she had a big ball of pizza dough. 
After the dough rose and rose, the little red hen rolled it flat and folded it and rolled it again and spun it around her head several times. When the dough was just right, she tossed it way up in the air one last time for good luck and put it on her pizza pan. Now what is it time for? She made the dough. What's she going to do with it now? Then she stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said. Who will help me make the pizza toppings? What do you think they're going to say? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then, I will make it myself. Mm, all by myself, said the little redhead. And she chopped and grated and grated and sliced. Next, she opened her tomato sauce and spread it all over the pizza. On top of that, she put some grated mozzarella and some sliced pepperoni, some chopped olives, some mushrooms, some onions, some garlic, eight small anchovies, and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. The little red hen looked at her pizza. It looked just right. She put it in the oven and sat down to sip on a cup of chickweed tea. Pretty soon, a delicious, smell drifted from the oven. <sighs> My lovely little pizza must be ready, she said. <laughs> Are you sniffing the pizza? <laughs> uh oh, look at that little smell. It's wafting from the oven. Do you see it wafting? There's the smell wafting. <gasps> She's sniffing it and then it's wafting outside. Who's gonna smell the pizza? The duck. The dog. The kitty cat. They're going to smell the pizza. It was lovely, but it was not little. It was a ginormous pizza. Mm. 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 So she stuck her head out the window. Good evening, she said. Would anybody like some pizza? Now, do you think they're gonna say, not I? Or do you think they're gonna want a hot, fresh, slice of that tasty, tasty pizza. Hmm? What do you think? Can you guess what the duck said? Can you guess what the dog said? Can you guess what the cat said? What do you think? They all said yes, of course. But the cat scraped most of the topping off of his share. When the pizza was all gone, the little red hen made herself another cup of chickweed tea. Then she asked, who will help me do the dishes? Now, can you guess what the duck, the dog, and the cat said to that? They each said, I will. And they did. The end. So in this story, the cat and the dog turned out that they wanted to help, probably because they were thankful that the red hen made them a pizza, right? So that's nice. They did the right thing. So friends, what I would like to encourage you is what can you cook or bake that you can help make for somebody in your family? Whatever you are cooking or eating today, how can you help make it? What could you make? Over the weekend, me and my kids made, we actually tried for the first time, we tried to bake fresh bread and it went really well. It was really tasty. Do you wanna see a picture of it? I'll show you a picture. We made similar to what the, what the chick, or I mean, what the hen was saying. We took the dough, we kneaded it, we made it rise and we put it in the oven. Here's a picture of it before 
Those are my little babies. There's a picture before it went in the oven. You see? And then, when it came out, do you see it? It was beautiful and delicious. So what can you make today? I want to encourage you and challenge you to make something of your own cooking creation.